So like the video title said, we're gonna show you how to sharpen your photo in like two seconds. So let's go into it. All right, you're gonna click your layer, you're gonna click the action, you're gonna press play, you're gonna uninvert, boom, sharpened. <laughs> Will Simpson here and welcome back to Exploring Photography. Today I am actually going to show you how to sharpen your photos, add that finishing touch, if you will, in about two seconds. Now, I already did a sharpening video which shows you how to build this tool. So in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to import it into your Photoshop actions and use it because I've made a few tweaks to make it a little bit easier and there's been a couple of um, difficulties that people have run into using this action. So if you want to see actually how to build it, I'll link that video in the description and then I'll show you how to actually do the steps to build this action. If you just want to download it and install it, there is a link in the description that will you click the link, it'll take you to a screen, you fill out your name, your email, and the action will be emailed directly to you. Um, just make sure you check your spam folders and mark it as not junk so you don't miss them. All right, so let's dive into this video here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna delete this completely. And yep, delete it all. We'll delete this action and we'll start completely from completely fresh. The first thing is once you get the action emailed to you, you're gonna add it into your actions. On this right side here, you'll see a tab called actions. If you do not see it, go up to window, make sure actions is selected. Notice how I unselected it, disappeared, select actions and it will show here. All right, once you're in that tab, you're gonna click the little lines here. You're gonna go down to load actions. You're going to find the action that I just sent to you. You're gonna click on this, willsimpson-sharpen.atn, and you're gonna click open. This is going to import it right here, and you'll see Will Simpson Sharpen. Now what you wanna do is click your layer, and you're gonna press Command or Control J. This creates a duplicate of the layer. Now let's say you have tons and tons of of adjustments. So let's just go ahead and add some. It doesn't, we're not gonna actually make any adjustments. We're just going to just add some layers and we're going to add, like, just like if you were doing some uh, edits or whatnot. Oh, I don't want that one. <laughs> Delete that one. Let's just add a, a color balance. We're not even gonna make any adjustments. Good, so let's say you have all of these adjustments and you wanna apply the action. I always recommend doing the sharpening action at the end of your edit. So you do all of your edits and then add the sharpening. So if you are at this stage, you cannot apply an action, this action, to any of these uh, adjustments, any of these uh, adjustment layers. You can only apply the action to an actual picture layer, but you wanna apply it to all of your adjustments. So click the top layer and on a Mac, press Shift, Command, Option E. I believe it's Shift Control Alt E on a PC, but I'm not sure, so don't hold me to that. So now you have this top layer. So then go ahead and click it. We're gonna rename it. This is important. Make sure you rename the layer Sharpen, no caps, and spell it right. <laughs> sharpen, there we go, I knew I could spell. So rename it Sharpen. This is important. If you do not do this, this will not work. So key. So once you have that as your top layer, click Sharpen. Now, a lot of people I've found click the this and they're like, oh, there's no play button. Well, that's because that's not the action. So click the drop down box, click Sharpen here and press play. There you go. That's all there is to it. Now you will notice that the action has inverted. So there's no sharpening applied. So if we zoom in, there's nothing applied to this image. We're going to press B on the keyboard to get our brush, make sure opacity is 100%, make sure white is our foreground color, and we're going to paint where we want the sharpening to be applied. Now, generally, you stick with portraits to the eyes, the nostrils of the nose, and the lips. You can sharpen other things, but generally those are the main point of sharpening. So if we zoom out here, here is before the sharpening, and here is after so much better. It just adds a little extra pop to the eyes, a little extra life to those parts of the body and makes them come alive. Because let's be honest, a lot of times you take a photo, it's in focus, but it is slightly soft. This helps eliminate those softnesses and really makes your photo pop off the page. And that is the simple way to do it. It's the easiest way to sharpen your photo. Now there are tons and tons and tons of ways to sharpen. There's so many different ways to do 
everything in Photoshop. This is just a quick way. And by applying this sharpening at the end of your, at the end of your edit, you're going to have some awesomely sharp images. So I hope this helps. It's a quick video. Go ahead and like it, subscribe, click the link, download your sharpening action. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. So I will see you guys next week. Good to see you again.